Hey there, Ramon Newman here. So over the last couple of weeks, I've had some very interesting interactions with leaders in my marketplace. Uh, some of these leaders leading very significant companies, multi-billion dollar companies. And some of these interactions have been very, very positive, and very, very good. In fact, we've got a new client of a multi-billion dollar company. Some of them have been okay, and some of them, quite frankly, have been very disappointing. And I've been reflecting on that disappointment, and why is it that a leader can be very quick in deflecting or dismissing something that has a proven a track record and value of creating amazing results and I've realized it's because somehow some reason they don't have that deeper sense of curiosity and spirit of inquiry and in fact it's a very dangerous uh, position to be in because if you don't have that if you're not open or have that curious curiosity about something that new that's been presented to you with great value, then you may be shooting yourself in the foot, your team in the foot, and possibly even your company in the foot. So, for example, Intel, if they decided, say, 10 years ago that, hey, we've developed the fastest microchip that's ever going to be developed. We don't need to develop any more faster microchips. We're good. Uh, we're just going to stick with this one, right? They would probably be out of business today. And another example that I can give you from my own personal experience is a few years ago, we approached a, a multi-billion dollar company. And this company, uh, the, the founder of the company had just become a billionaire. And we approached them with our services and it was quite quickly not acknowledged or deflected or dismissed. And then a year later, we find that the company is going through bankruptcy. And this is the real danger when you think you're okay with what you've got and the support systems you've got in place. You're okay today and you may well be, but what are you doing to take care of tomorrow? And I realized why a leader may not have that ability to be curious about something new that's proven and may not have that spirit of inquiry or that energy to do it. It's because one, they're jaded. They're just tired and fatigued with what's going on right now. Two, they got so much going on that they're not settled enough to be open enough to investigate things in a deeper way. And thirdly, they may just have that thin veil of what I call status quo inertia, where they're great with what they got, they, got, they think they've got uh, what they need in place right now, and they may have, but it may not really take care of the future. And so I've realized that obviously everybody is taking in things, uh, new things, based on their level of awareness and what they know and their level of consciousness. And because basically truth and action and understanding is, is based on our level of consciousness and awareness. And that only by bringing in more energy and deeper, more profound knowledge can we break that inertia or that attachment to what you know right now. So you don't want to be a company like, for example, GE, who has spent about a billion dollars a year in training and education of their people over the last 10 years. And it's had obviously helped them in some way, but still the company has experienced a $60 billion decline in annual revenues. So what is it that's really going to make that difference? So as you see, there's a diagram in the background here. So you can be developing your business, working on your business and your business and, and, and improving the processes and systems, that, that the way you do things to create better objective outcomes and better effects. But you really have to look at what is the cause of creating better processes and systems and not just ones that can fix the current solution, but maybe the broader perspective solution, the one that really serves you in the best way, because anyone can come up with a solution, but is it the right solution? So this is where uh, developing the subject, which is the leader and their inner consciousness and coherence uh, to be more alert and more awake, that's the real cause of what creates better processes, better ability to relate to your marketplace and better objective outcomes and effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer you a free global alpha audit of your leadership team and what you're using to develop yourselves right now. And I'll very specifically tell you what effects they are having. And if there's any gaps, I'll let you know about that. We can discuss that further. So to do that, just direct message me and we'll sort out a time to do that. And basically all I'll need is about five, 10 minutes with yourself and maybe up to five of your other key players to be able to do this little research and give you some output and some input. So 
that's basically it. If you've got any comments or questions or experiences in this regard, then I'd love to hear them.